hi welcome back um today is going to be a quick video on how i harvest my collard greens these are the very same greens from my first video they are in pots the pots are pretty small and right now they're actually producing pretty small leaves which i don't actually mind because i really prefer to harvest the leaves when they're around this size, like the the size of my hand, really. Um, they just, I like the way they taste when they're that size. Anyhow, um, the pots I have are really small. I've mentioned before that I wish I would have put them in bigger pots, but that's okay. Don't let it discourage you if all you have is smaller pots because I'd rather you grow something and harvest them small than to not um, be able to harvest anything at all by not planting um, anything just because you have small pots. All right, so they're looking a little skinny just because I made a big pot of um, slow, cooker, slow cooker collard greens and Today I'm just going to harvest a few so that I can have um, just some extra stuff in my sautéed sides that I plan on making for dinner. Alright, so this leaf actually I won't keep, so I'm going to cut this guy off and put it in my compost. Um, let's see, you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of pest damage here. But of course, we are about to hit summer. Um, I'm in Central Florida, Zone 9B. I think before I said I was in Zone 9A, but I'm actually in Zone 9B. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Anyhow, they're still growing really fantastic. And um, if I were you, I would keep this growing in your garden, especially if you're in a southern climate like me. Now, these really holy guys, you can compost or you can just cut around them. It's, they're still tasty, they just don't look great. Alright, so I think I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to show you how I harvest a few of the leaves. That way you get the gist of how to do it if your greens are ready to harvest. I'm not going to show you how I harvest all of them, but I'll show you how I harvest a few. So you always want to take the outside leaves. See these outside guys? Do not ever cut these little inside leaves because then you'll kill your plant or stunt the growth. So always cut the outside leaves. I'm just gonna take a few leaves from each plant Also, make sure the shears that you're cutting with are sanitized. I always sanitize my shears before I go into the garden to cut anything. Um, that's it. It's just that simple. That's how I harvest them. I'm going to continue doing this. I'm not going to show you guys how I harvest every single plant. But I also, when I take them in, I give them a triple wash just to make sure there's no little buggies or spiders. Um, we get a lot of spiders online. I've had a mini spider crawl across my counter because of my greens. <laughs> so give them a double or triple wash and then you guys should be good. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this encourages you to grow your greens, especially if you are in hot climate like I am. Georgia Southern collard greens are just the best. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.